I'm Karen Sperling and I want to show you a little secret about working with paper texture in Corel Painter. I have the chalks square chalk brush selected which is a paper sensitive brush and the default paper that's chosen is this one. If you click on this little icon at the bottom of the tool box you'll see the paper panel and the first texture is the default texture basic paper. When I paint with the chalk square chalk this is the result of painting with basic paper which is a nice stroke with a little texture to it and I'm gonna zoom up on it a little bit by dragging on the radial dial on my Wacom tablet and I'll press the space bar and click and drag to hover over the part that I just painted so you can see the texture of the basic paper. And I'm going to zoom out again by dragging counterclockwise on the radial dial on the Wacom tablet. And I want to paint with a more toothy paper texture. So I'm going to go back into the paper panel and this time I'm going to select Artist Canvas and I'm going to paint with it and zoomed out like this it's kind of hard to see the texture. If I zoom up on it we can see the texture better but this is kind of like looking at a painting from close up and from far away. If we were to print this right now it would print out like this and it would be kind of hard to see that texture. So we're going to make the texture bigger to be able to see it better. So I'm going to zoom up again and here's how you make the texture bigger in Corel Painter. We go into Window, Paper Panels, Papers. This brings up the Papers panel. And this first slider over here is the Scale slider. So if I move the Scale slider to the right, I'm making the scale bigger. And then when I paint, that's what happens. The texture is easier to see. So I'm going to zoom out and you can see the texture better. I'll move the slider to the right some more and it's even more apparent. So that's a nice way to add some texture to a painting in Corel Painter. And another very cool thing that's happening in this papers panel is this little button over here. If I hover over it says invert toggle and what that does is it inverts the grain. I'm going to choose a different tone and I'm going to paint over what I just painted and what it does is it fills in the opposite of what it filled in when I had the paper inverted. So we'll see that again. I'll click invert toggle again and I'll choose another tone And so it, it continues to fill in the opposite of what I filled in before I clicked invert. So it's a nice way to control paper texture by playing around with the scale slider and by using the invert toggle button. So you can see adjusting textures this way and painting is a great way to build up portrait backgrounds. For more tips and tutorials, subscribe to my channel here at YouTube and also visit my website artistrymag.com. Thanks for watching.